Do you know what foods to avoid for insulin resistance? It's a question that's become increasingly relevant in our fast-paced, convenience food culture. Insulin resistance is a condition where the body's cells don't respond properly to insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. This can lead to higher than normal blood sugar levels, and over time may cause serious health conditions like type 2 diabetes. You see, our diet plays a pivotal role in managing insulin resistance. The foods we consume can either aid our bodies in using insulin effectively, or they can hinder it, leading to increased resistance. Foods that are high in sugars, refined carbohydrates and unhealthy fats are often the culprits behind escalating insulin resistance. To manage insulin resistance, it's crucial to know what foods to avoid. These foods not only contribute to the condition, but they can also exacerbate its effects, making it harder for the body to regulate blood sugar levels. So, let's dive into it. The foods you consume can either help or hinder your body's insulin sensitivity. As we delve into the significance of diet in managing insulin resistance, it's crucial to understand that certain foods can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. These spikes lead to an overproduction of insulin, which can result in insulin resistance over time. A diet rich in processed foods, sugary drinks, and high glycemic carbs is often to blame. These foods cause your blood sugar to rise rapidly, leading to a spike in insulin production. However, your body can only handle so much insulin before it starts to resist its effects, leading to insulin resistance. On the other hand, a balanced diet full of whole grains, lean proteins, and plenty of fruits and vegetables can help maintain stable blood sugar levels thus promoting insulin sensitivity. Now let's look at the foods you should avoid to manage insulin resistance. First on our list is sugary drinks. These sweet temptations are a sugar bomb in a can, bottle, or cup. They're packed with high levels of refined sugar, which can quickly spike your blood sugar levels. When you consume these drinks, your body has to work overtime to produce insulin, the hormone that helps your body process sugar. Over time, this can lead to your body becoming less responsive to insulin, a condition known as insulin resistance. It's like constantly ringing a doorbell. Eventually, the person inside may stop responding. That's essentially what happens in your body with insulin resistance. Moreover, sugary drinks don't offer any nutritional value. They're empty calories that can lead to weight gain, another risk factor for insulin resistance. Think of it this way. Every sip of a sugary drink is a step away from optimal health and a step closer to insulin resistance. So, it's best to stay clear of sugary drinks if you want to manage insulin resistance. Next, we have white bread, rice, and pasta. These everyday staples might seem harmless, but they can have a significant impact on your blood sugar levels. This is due to their high glycemic index, a measure that ranks foods based on how much they raise blood glucose. When you eat white bread, rice, or pasta, your body rapidly converts them into sugar, leading to a sudden spike in blood glucose. This forces your pancreas to produce more insulin, which over time can lead to insulin resistance. Now you might wonder, what about my beloved spaghetti dinners or breakfast toasts? Don't worry, you don't have to give them up entirely. The key is to choose whole grain alternatives. Whole grains are packed with fiber, which slows down the digestion process and helps prevent those harmful blood sugar spikes. So, swap out white bread, rice, and pasta for whole grain versions to manage insulin resistance. Now, let's cover fruit juice, sweets, and fried foods. These are favorites for many of us, but they can have a significant impact on our health, particularly when it comes to insulin resistance. First up, fruit juice. While it might seem healthy because it comes from fruit, fruit juice can be a sugar bomb. Many types of fruit juice contain as much sugar as a soda. When you consume a lot of sugar at once, it can cause a rapid spike in your blood sugar levels. Your body responds by releasing insulin to bring your blood sugar back down. But if this happens often, your body can become resistant to insulin, leading to higher blood sugar levels over time. Next, we move on to sweets. Cakes, cookies, candies, and other sweet treats are loaded with refined sugars. These sugars are quickly absorbed into your bloodstream, causing a sudden surge in blood sugar levels. This can put a lot of stress on your body, as it has to produce large amounts of insulin to deal with the sugar. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance. Finally, let's talk about fried foods. These are typically high in unhealthy fats and calories. Consuming too much of these foods can lead to weight gain, which is a risk factor for insulin resistance. Moreover, fried foods often contain advanced glycation end products or ages. 
These are compounds that can increase inflammation and oxidative stress in your body, both of which can contribute to insulin resistance. So, while it's okay to enjoy these foods in moderation, it's best to limit your intake. Opt for whole fruits instead of fruit juice, choose sweets that are low in sugar, or make your own with natural sweeteners, and try baking or grilling your food instead of frying it. Remember, making small changes to your diet can make a big difference in managing your blood sugar levels and reducing your risk of insulin resistance. So, limit your intake of fruit juice, sweets, and fried foods to manage insulin resistance. Last but not least, we have alcohol and processed foods. These two culprits are often overlooked when it comes to managing insulin resistance, but they can have a significant impact on your blood sugar levels. Let's start with alcohol. While it may not directly contain sugar, it can still cause your blood sugar levels to rise. This is because your liver, which plays a key role in regulating blood sugar, is too busy processing the alcohol to properly manage your blood sugar levels. Alcohol can also lead to weight gain, another risk factor for insulin resistance. It's best to limit your alcohol intake to a moderate level, which is generally considered to be up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. Moving on to processed foods. They are often high in refined carbohydrates and added sugars, both of which can spike your blood sugar levels. Furthermore, they're usually low in fiber, a nutrient that slows the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream and prevents spikes in blood sugar. Additionally, processed foods are typically high in unhealthy fats that can contribute to weight gain and inflammation, both of which can worsen insulin resistance. But it's not just about the sugars and fats. Processed foods are also packed with additives and preservatives, many of which have been linked to insulin resistance and other health problems. And let's not forget about the high sodium content in many processed foods, which can lead to high blood pressure, another risk factor for insulin resistance. The bottom line is, while it may be convenient to grab a processed meal or snack from the store, these foods are not doing your insulin levels any favors. Instead, try to focus on whole, unprocessed foods that are high in fiber and low in added sugars and unhealthy fats. So, cut back on alcohol and processed foods to manage insulin resistance. Your body and your blood sugar levels will thank you. To recap, the foods to avoid for insulin resistance are sugary drinks, white bread, rice, pasta, fruit juice, sweets, fried foods, alcohol, and processed foods. These foods are high in simple carbohydrates, sugars, and unhealthy fats that can spike your blood sugar levels and exacerbate insulin resistance. Sugary drinks, including sodas, sweet teas, and even some coffees, can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar. This can place extra stress on your body's ability to process glucose, leading to increased insulin resistance. Next on the list are white bread, rice, and pasta. These foods are made from refined grains, which have been stripped of their fiber and nutrients. This makes them high in simple carbohydrates, which can lead to spikes in blood sugar and contribute to insulin resistance. Fruit juices and sweets, while often seen as healthier options, can also be problematic. Though fruit juice does contain vitamins, it's also high in sugar and can lead to blood sugar spikes. Sweets, of course, are high in sugar and should be limited. Fried foods and processed foods are also on the list. Fried foods are high in unhealthy fats that can contribute to insulin resistance. Processed foods, on the other hand, often contain hidden sugars and unhealthy fats that can exacerbate insulin resistance. Alcohol is another food to avoid. It can cause blood sugar to rise or fall, depending on the amount consumed and the type of alcohol. This unpredictability can make it difficult to manage insulin resistance. By avoiding these seven foods, you can help to manage your insulin resistance and improve your overall health. This is not about cutting out these foods entirely, but rather about making informed choices and finding healthier alternatives. Remember, managing your diet is key to managing insulin resistance. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health tips.